<clears throat> Today, I'm going to tell you the story of the Thousand Year Door. An awfully long time ago, in a strange far off land, a big bustling town thrived. It was a town where all people lived very happy lives, and it was said that the town was very prosperous. But one day, tragedy befell this blessed place. A great cataclysm struck the town and its people. Darkness filled the skies and the earth roared and shook. It was as if the very world had come to a violent end. And in but a single night, the town sank to the depths of the earth. Many moons rose and set. Stories of the time passed into the pages of fairy tales, and when the town site no longer held relics of its past, people gathered at that spot and built a new town. But word soon spread among the people who moved in, that an ancient city lay deep underground, and that a magnificent treasure rested there. Indeed, this is the tale of the fabled treasure of Rogueport. Yes, this is where it begins, in the sea town of Rogueport. The tale of the quest for the legendary treasure. And the Thousand Year Door starts here. Oh, here we go again. Finally! I have a minute without Tosworth watching over me. He's so paranoid. I come all the way here on holiday, only to be stuck with Tosworth. It's so stifling. Once in a while, I'd like the chance to look around on my own and see what I want. But, now that I'm doing it, all I see is that this town has a very, um, distinct flavor. Oh, Missy? Missy? Do you mean me? Yes, you, Missy. Won't you buy something? I have a white assortment of knickknacks and doodads. Oh, well, um... Well, that's a pretty box. What's inside it? It is said that this box holds a map that shows where legendary treasure sleeps. But the box has a magic locker that will only open for a pure and noble heart. As you can see, it won't so much as budge and won't so much as myself touches it. Ooh! I know. If the box is open for you, Missy, then you may have whatever is inside. I am sure that whatever is in there will be of no use to someone like me. So, Missy, take this box in your hands and see what happens. Um, alright. What's the harm? I'll try to open it. Oh, God. So, there's what you don't know can hurt you. And then they're just falling into plain traps like this. And with that, what's going on, viewers from the internet? I am Variety Gamer 95 here with Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Finally, I am back from my grieving of my old man Toby, and I'm here to record and play this game for you guys. This is the sequel to the Paper Mario on the Nintendo 64. And I've been looking forward to this for so long. So long that I really want to get started. Let's go ahead and get the show on the road, shall we? You'll have to see the game for yourself. Okay. So there is no save file on this memory card. I copy. I have a different memory card from my old 1019. And this is the one that I'm going to be going with. Let's see. I'm going to be starting a game with file 1. And I'm going to be copying it to file 2. Let me just... Uh, Let's see here. Alright, I'm gonna keep us at the stereo, and I'm gonna play without Rumble. Uh, it's something that I just never really cared for. I never came up with the reason why. I just don't play with Rumble. Alright, so let's start a new game. I... Can I use the... Nope, has to be the control stick. I guess I'll just put my first name, Joseph. Alright... I gotta use his controller again. It's been a while since I played with it. Right, let's hit start. J-O-C-P-H. This is only creating a name for your save file. 
it will not affect anything else in the game besides that. Alright, so let's get started. What is the story behind this game? Hey, this intro looks familiar. Look, there's Paracurry and everything. Mail call! That's his only appearance in the entire game. I'm dead serious. Hey, look! It's Luigi! <laughs> oh, I can't really hear my Luigi voice again, guys. It's gonna be a ho! <laughs> I'm so excited! Hey, bro! Check it out! A letter from Princess Peach right for you! Let's see here. I'll just read it to you. How's that sound? So, is it possible to see because the camera won't pan to the left? But, uh, Mario Luigi's room is actually fully modeled. But you can't see it without hacking. And this is the only part, point in the game where Mario Luigi's house appears. Ahem. Now, let's see here. Oh, boy. Here we go again, huh? Hello there, Mario. I'm now on holiday, traveling in the Mushroom Kingdom. If I travel, I give you to possession of a mystical map. A treasure map, actually. It was inside a box I got from an old merchant in a town called Roadport. But since it would be too difficult for me to try to go find treasure all by myself, I thought you could help me hunt for it. You will, of course, won't you? I've cleared the map with this letter, so please bring it with you when you come. That means you're at Roadport. That means you must come. Peach. Alright, let's see here. What do you know? It's true! There's a withered old map in here with the leather! Check it out! Alright, here's the treasure map, huh? It looks incomplete if you ask me! Alright, here we go, ladies and germs! This is Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door! I'm so looking forward to this Let's Play! Go ahead and press the A button and get on with the show. All right, so this is the prologue out of eight chapters, just like the last game. A rogue's welcome. A rogue's welcome, huh? Do do rogues even welcome their guests? Excuse me, sir. Please wake up, sir. The town you've been speaking of is coming to view. Look, that's Rogueport. You see? We'll arrive shortly. Please prepare to disembark. Alright, here we go. Mario is finally arriving. So Mario came here, but where's Luigi? I must apologize, sir. Our arrival was delayed just a bit by rough weather. Are you quite sure you want to disembark here? I did tell you all the sordid tales about Rogueport on our way here, did I not? What's that? I'm sorry? You said there's a princess waiting here for you? Is that so? Er, of course, sir. Well, if that's what you think, then I won't stop you. But, uh, you be careful, sir. Don't say I didn't warn you! Ooh, that's pretty efficient, huh? Alright. So this is Rogueport. Pressing the Z button opens up our stats. So we have 10 HP, 5 FP, no star points, and Mario actually brought lots of funds with him. He, we have 100 points to start with. See, so the A button jumps, obviously. Press the B button to swing your hammer. Press the start button to open up your stats. Let's see. Mario's bullet is walk and run. A is to jump, speak, and check. B is hammer and cancel. X, use partner's ability. We don't have a partner yet. Maybe we'll come across one. Z is display stats. Let's see. Rising star. The higher your star rank, the bigger your crowd will be. This will be important later. Mario's hammer. Press B to swing your hammer. Mario's boots. Press A to jump. Let's see. Hard points. Points to represent Mario's physical strength. They drop as Mario takes damage. If Mario's HP reaches zero, the game ends. Flower points. Points Mario's partner used to perform moves. Badges. Badge points. Points acquired with badges. We'll come across those later. Star points. Points to defeat foes. Earn 100 to go up a level. Coins. Number of coins Mario has to buy items and badges. Star pieces Mario has collected. Shine sprites Mario has found. We can level up an ally. And our playtime. The, the amount of time Mario spent his adventure. This is where we keep all of our items. We have sorting methods as well. We don't have any. 
Important things. Mario, uh, armed himself with the mailbox SP. We don't have any emails, but I'm sure we'll get some later. Let's see, go to the journal. Here's our map. Alright, well, wow, the cursor moves really fast. Much faster than it did in the original. Let's see, Roadport, an unseemly place full of rogues and thugs. The harbor is in the south, a thieves hideout lies to the east, the western area is home to the Pianto Syndicate's HQ, and Roadport Station is to the north. Trains and airships connect to other towns. Alright, we'll have to keep an eye on these wonderful towns on our journey, huh? This already looks like a promising start. Especially since Mario got so bored, we might explain things that he fell asleep. Wake up, bro. We gotta get going. Alright, let's see. Oi! Welcome to the road port. Bit of a nasty place, eh? You got guts coming here. You look a bit green, so I have a wee bit of advice to me. Hit the save block to save. Because the thing about life is, you never know when you're gonna kick the old bucket. Oh, God. Let's go ahead and save. Hit this block to save all the events you've experienced so far. Even if your game ends, you can continue, you can continue from the last point you saved at. In a time find a block like this in your adventure, be sure to save. You need to have a memory card in slot A in order to save. Let's see here. What you want, pal? Huh? A princess in a pink dress? I ain't seen nothing like that, no. I'd remember a princess, probably. Why do you want this check out with pal? Are you money? Or is she your girlfriend? Are they in a relationship? <laughs> hey! What do you want? Get away from me, freak! Oh, who's this lass? Oh, come off of you, airhead! I know it's tough for you, but don't play dumb with me! I see you walking around asking for free fish about the crystal stars. Well, now I'm doing the asking to be a good girl. Tell us what you know, right now. Never. I don't have anything to say to you, creeps. Ew. I suppose it wouldn't be right if a sassy little louse like you met with an untimely demise. Buh, buh, blah, blah, blah. Boys, we're taking this firebrand to our fortress. As a command, Lord Crump, we're on it. No! Stop right there, you weirdos! I'm screaming! Really? Oh. Oof, 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 oof. Out of the way, you scallywag! Move your ever little bones! Let's see here. Blimey! A fight? Corkin! Heh <laughs> heh. Ain't nothing so far as watching some poor bloke have it out with his missus, eh? Am I right, mate? I somehow doubt they're in a relationship, buddy. Yikes! Let's say trouble over there! I'm a business to get involved, huh? I wouldn't meddle with other people's problems at this time, even if I had an extra life. Well, we're Mario. We have 10 hard points, so we're going to intervene. Like, I go anywhere to spend lunatics like you. Humph! Not likely. What? What do you think you're doing, chump? You think you can screw up my plans? God, it's always something. Looks like I'm going to have to give you a little taste of the old crumpet bomb. The old crumpet bomb, huh? <laughs> Alright, let's see what that is, buddy. Carefully this fight. It's a mid-boss. Battle time, Mr. Man. Just find a way to beat this freak of the week, okay? Don't spend the details. Just jump at him, hit him with your hammer. Alright, let's see. See, we have no items. Our tactics. We can defend or run away. But this is a mid-boss. Defend boosts your defense by one for this turn. Places do nothing. Jump. Press A just before stopping on an enemy. Oh god, I'm a little bit rusty on this, so... Uh, let's see if I remember how to do this, huh? Let's see here. Alright, looks like I still got it. Alright, sweet! You- Sweet! You know that hurt! Wow, I gotta say, you're tougher than you look! So he's gonna attack us now. Keep it up, he'll beat him in no time! So let's see. There we go. If we press A, rise and attack connects, we'll... Listen to damage. Hammer. Hold control stick left and release it when star lights up. Just like so. Wham! You've got him on the ropes! Come on! Keep wailing on him! Let's see here. Nice! Good to know still got the the, the the guard! I was gonna say block. Let's see... I guess I'll hammer, sure. He has 5 HP! So 2 plus 2 makes 5, which means he goes down. That's wrong, You Joseph. did it! You did it! Yes! And you got star points! Yeah, I bet you know, but you get these things called star points when you win battles. When you get 100 points, they'll go up a level. Don't forget that, okay? So we get 9 star points to start off with. Pretty good start, but we could do better, you know. Buh, buh, buh. Okay, got a couple decent shots in, I'll give you that. But, fortunately for you, that means... It's GO TIME! PUNISH HIM! Quit 
Quick! This way! Phew! What a bunch of loons! Let's just sneak out of here. What do you say? Alright, let's get out of here with this lovely lass. All I gotta do is head up and that's it. Uh -huh. Stop! Where'd they go? Huh? You! Johnson! Did you see them? Did anyone? Ugh! Crud! They bolted! I don't know how we pulled that off, but we did. <laughs> uh, so escape! Wow, mister! You totally saved me! Thanks! I've just got to give you a little reward! Ooh, Mario! <laughs> My name's Goombella. I'm a student at the University of Goom. Nice to meet ya! So, uh, who are you? Mario? Wait, you mean like that famous guy? Wow! I can't believe I met you here! Cool! Anyway, no offense, but it looks like you just ruined the town yourself, right? Me? I already hate it here! There are freaks and weirdos everywhere! It's nasty! I mean, I know the place is called Rogue Force, so I shouldn't have expected it, but sheesh! I'd never come to a place like this if it were so if there were some legendary treasure here. Oh. What? You're looking for the legendary treasure too? Seriously? Whoa, 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 Bucko! What you got there? Oh my gosh! Is isn't that a treasure bag? You have to tell me where you got that. Princess Peach? What? Oh god. Okay, so <laughs> I'm terrible at Toads at a Toadsworth impression because I don't care enough about the character to try it. But I'm gonna give it my best attempt here. Okay, let's see here. <clears throat> Great hoogly boogly! If it isn't Master Mario. Ooh. Bit of a coincidence, but we get to one another in this sort of place, hmm? Stay oh, down, bro. So tell me, Master Mario, what in the world brings you to this wretched little bird? Punk? Hmm? Are you ah, okay? indeed! Where's his speech sent you a letter and a Those treasure map? Jerks. And we she told you she meet you here in Rogueport? Intriguing. You're asking me where Princess Peach is? Um, I was about to ask you that. We stopped in this town to acquire a spot of fuel for our ship, don't you know? I only took my offer for a moment, but as soon as I did, she vanished. You know how headstrong she is, Mario. I just assumed she'd be back momentarily. But at this point, I fear we must embrace the possibility that she may never return. I've had a loss as to what to do. I've been fraught with worry, I tell you. But I feel better with you here, Master Mario. Surely we'll find her. Surely. And by we, he means me, because I'm going to be the one doing all the work. <laughs> but I know my place, Master Mario, and this is not it. I leave this task to you. Boy, you guys thought I was kidding? I believe I reclined the inn right over there and enjoy a spot of tea, perhaps. In fact, I highly recommend it, particularly find your HP heart points running low. Just drop on in! Ho ho! But yes, anyway, a little rest there will fill all of your HP. I must say, though, the rest of this town is a bit rough. Yes, rough indeed! Huff, I say. Huff, I say. Um, Princess Peach? Did he mean like Peach, the Mushroom Kingdom Princess? The princess who always gets kidnapped by Bowser, the Koopa King? The one you rescue? Wait a sec, this is crazy! Princess Peach sent you that treasure map? Whoa, this is really intense! Well, where could she have gone then, do you think? You think maybe she got sick of waiting for her to find the treasure on her own? I doubt it. Ooh, ooh, I know Mario, come with me! One of my professors is here researching that treasure. We'll show him your map. If we start looking for the treasure, then maybe we'll catch up to Princess Peach. Great! We're all good then! Let's go, Mario! Hi, it's Goombella joined your party, our first party member. It's a Goomba, just like it was in the first game. Goombella's ability is a primer. So, I read this in TV Tropes. A primer basically means a summary. I didn't understand this for the longest time as a kid or as, a, as an adult. And then I read it in TV Tropes. I think it's, uh... I think it has to do with a Japanese translation or something. I don't remember exactly, but... Yeah, that's what a primer means. It goes over what your partners can do. Press X to get information about nearby people, places, and objects. This is Rokpo Plaza. It's the center of town of the main business district. It's a crossroads of many people meet, including more than a few shady characters. Anytime I press X where there's no one around, I'll tell you about where we are. 
And look at this guy. That's Goomfer, the Goomba. He's always complaining about being swindled or mugged. If you press X when there's somebody nearby, I'll tell you about him or her. So, did you get all that? Goombella can give you hints as she answers and ask her for information often. And of course, Goombella can be quite helpful in battle too. She jumps in the air to tackle enemies with a nasty head bonk. She can also look up enemy HP weaknesses with her tattle ability. First off, we gotta go find my professor. Thing is, since I just got to tell myself, I, um, don't actually know where he lives. So keep an eye out. Here's what Professor Franklin looks like. Alright, so notice, uh, Goombella actually has an HP of 10 as well. In this game, both Mario and his partners will have HP. But if his partner's HP reaches 0, they'll be inactive until you can revive them. There is an item called Life Shroom that can revive, uh, both Mario and allies, but we'll go over that when we come across one. So, let's see. Let's explore our town a little bit, shall we? Let's talk to this guy. Look at this guy who defrauded me with a fake credit card the other day. If you find that jerk, give him a wallet for me. You look like you didn't know nothing, so I'll teach you something. How about that? If you press Z, you can check your HP. I can't believe you didn't know that. Well, I knew that. If you have low HP, you ought to go rest in an in so you recover. Use your head. Yeah, press Z. So Mario actually lost his spin dash in the first game. There is a way to move faster, but that won't come until a little bit later. Let's see here. I'm looking for this guy. Okay, you're, you're the other guy. You're the guy from before. Let's see here. It's a little mouser. You saw that? This was like a profitable situation. Yes, indeedy. Looks like my star is finally starting to shine. Not that it's any of your business. This looks like a news report. So forth between the Piantas and again, the Robbo's hitting up, apparently. Best stay indoors. Yeah, let's read the back, too. Graffiti Corner. I just saw the most beautiful, elegant princess in Rogueport. I think I'm smitten. Polly's best customer. Wonder who they are. Let's go to the left. Freeze! You two! Not another step! Don't come this way! Some complete jerk just bumped into me and made me lose a contact lens. I'm looking for it right now, so don't you dare move! You hear me? Whatever you do, do not move an inch! Not an inch, you hear? Right? Let's use the hammer. Ah! Idiot! You stepped on it! My poor contact lens! I told you not to move! Don't your stupid ears work? What were you thinking? Hey, I swung my hammer, lady! I did exactly what you said! This is your fault! Now I have to buy a new contact lens! But you're gonna pay for it! Compensate me, Mr. Clumsy! <laughs> Fine! If that's your plan, then here's mine, you oaf! I'm gonna block the gate to the west side to bring me a new contact lens! So this is the justification for not being able to go to that side. As you can see here, I, like, I'm right, right in front of her, but she still won't let me move. So what we want to do in this case is go to the shop. Or, not quite yet. First, let's go to the right side. Let's see, I'm talking to this guy. Professor Frankly? I actually think the guy by the name lives over on the east side. Just go east of here. As you enter town for the harbor, just hang a right. So, uh, what about him? Did th what about him? Did this guy steal something important for you or what? Damn, dude. Hey, by the way, Mario, have you saved yet? You see the save block in front of that inn? Since we're here, you ought to save now. Just jump up and hit the save block. To, well, hit the block to save, okay? Good reminder. Let's go ahead and save the game. You never know, but something's gonna happen. So save your game and back up your save file, especially if you're recording a let's play. Oops! Pardon me, sucker. Hey, what's up, beef pal? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Mario, you gotta wake up! That guy just stole half your coins! That is so lame! Ugh, I hate this town! Alright, so let's go back and retrieve our coins. And yes, this is a GameCube game, so now there's actual loading. Whenever we transition areas, okay. So where we're supposed to go is over here to the left side. Alright, let's go ahead and open the door. And here's the bandit. Oops! 
Uh, fancy meeting you here. You're pretty damn persistent, buddy. What a pain. Fine, fine, okay? You got me. I'll give me your coins back. Here. Oh, he did give us the coins back. Let me give you a newsflash. Even the innocent-looking people in town are thieves. So don't come grumbling to me about losing a little pocket change, okay, buddy? So, uh... This room... <laughs> There are actually quite a number of differences between uh, the English release and the Japanese version. And this room is actually one such difference. So the Japanese version, this house has a chalkwork in the shape of a toad and a blood splatter. Yeah, uh, make it that what you will. It's pretty violent. Alright, you have to press A to open a door like that in this game. And the original could just hold down. Dang, yesterday blew through a hundred quests to the parlor. You believe that? But not next time, man. I come back a winner. The odds favor me now. Good luck with that. And it's what's well, over on the right side here. It's another Goomba. Listen, this is a huge secret, but I gotta tell someone. I'm a wanted Goomba. I was a thief in another town up until about three months ago. Yeah, good one. But then the heat came down and needed to hide out, so I came to Rogueport. Now that I told you, you gotta keep it a secret, okay? Heh <laughs> I'm so sly. I'm sure you are, pal. I'm sure you are. So, like, this game came out at such a time where, uh, it was just before the E10 Plus rating came out. And, you see this? I think this is called a noose or something? I don't remember exactly. Alright, so, what I was going to do before, is we can go to the item shop. Let's see here. Welcome! Yes, welcome to the Toad Brothers Bazaar! Eh? What's that? You want a contact lens, you say? Hmm. Wait just a moment. Yes, he's going to talk to his brother over here about a contact lens. Gee, fella, I'm sorry, but we don't have any in stock right now. So I fuck, I know. Like a special order one right away for you, but it'll take a while. Check back soon, okay? So I recommend uh, doing this now. Just because, uh, well, you'll see. Mushroom, a feel-good mushroom, which is 5 HP. Honey syrup, a sweet snack, which is 5 FP. Tasty tonic, a tasty medicine, cures poison and other ailments. Fire flower attacks all enemies with fireballs and burns them. Sleepy sheep temporarily puts all enemies to sleep, immobilizing them. Fright mask summons a scary spirit to chase some enemies away. So let's talk to this store's owner over here. Hey there, fella. Welcome. Is this your first time in our shop? I think it is. I always like to explain our shop point system to new customers, so bear with me. Customers receive one point, one shop point for each purchase they make. You with me so far? Save up enough shop points, you can get prizes, including some rare items. You'll find a list of prizes posted in any shop, so be sure to check it out. It's a pretty simple promotion, wouldn't you say, fella? Need me to explain again? Nope. Well, take your time and enjoy your shopping, fella. So look at this list over here. Yeah, you can actually get some pretty good items here. You see, we have some items that won't be coming across for quite a while. We have a couple of new items, too. We have the ice Mushroom Ice Storm. The Super Shroom, the Thunder Rage, Shooting Star, a Gold Bar, wow, a Life Shroom, that's the item I was talking about before, an Ultra Shroom, a Gem Jelly, and a Gold Bar times 3. So when you get 300 points, then the system resets. Alright, press B. Let's go ahead and purchase a couple mushrooms, let's see. You got an item! Uh, no shit. <laughs> you can use items to attack enemies to replace your HP, hard points. Press start pause and choose items to your gear screen to see your items. There we go. And when we pick an item, we can choose to use it on either Mario or his partner. You do it from the pause menu. Press up with the control pad, you can shortcut to the gear. Alright, it's so a good thing we have some coins to start. So you can carry up to 10 items at a time. I'm gonna go ahead and buy a, fi a couple of fire flowers as well. Sleepy Sheep puts enemies to sleep. The Fright Mask has a chance of scaring enemies. Uh, I don't have any FP consuming moves yet, but a couple honey serves wouldn't hurt as well. Let's see here. So you can buy, sell items, you can store, much more transparent compared to check in the first Paper Mario, and I'm here to withdraw. Just check your points. Currently have 8 points, fella. Yeah, like... I explained this in the first Paper Mario, but when I was a kid, I didn't realize that check meant to store, so I just never used the system. But it's pretty handy, especially since you can only carry 10 items at a time. Let's see here. Oi, I used to sail around around wild in my younger days, but I'm a reformed sailor now. 
I used to go around exploding all over the place without giving it much thought. Let's see Best here. Friends, three times red stash, on his Don't you take a hint, pal? Means scram! Don't talk to me! Let's see here. Works. This is the bar owner. I actually have to go over there. <laughs> Welcome to you and yours. Have a seat. This is part of this place. I'm a little cola shop where folks mix stories and drinks. Cola? Looks like a bar to me! By the by, there's an inn upstairs. When you're weary, go on up and relax. Alright, now what about this guy over here that's singing? What does he have to say? Ah, what are you doing? Singing about a person as he sings most jovially. Who, me you ask about? Ah, I'm called Flavio. I am, how you say, a traitor. The richest man in Rogueport. Uh, yeah. Uh, have fun with that, pal. Whatever you're singing about over there, I'm sure it's under my concern. So this is the inn over here. Let's see here. Oh, where the work of the princess had gotten to? This is quite troubling indeed. Let's see, so talk to this lady over here. And the beds are a bit filthy, but they'll fully restore HP. Look, it, it's even leaking up at the ceiling. How funny. Alright, now let's step outside. Ooh, what's this place up here? Let's see here. Open at 11 a.m. today. Because I'll come back later, huh? See, there's nothing up with the roof. So the only place I haven't explored is the east side of town. I believe I already hit the save block. So let's go ahead and press on with our journey, huh? Let's see here. Hey, you big old Rube. It ain't smart to talk to people you don't know. You never know when a guy might go nuts and attack. Be careful, live longer. Let's see here. So this looks like a place where we can upgrade our party members. This is where the Shine Spurs are used. It's power of a partner talks to me from the other side of the table. Okay. Welcome to the home of Merlin, the Super Magician. I foresaw your arrival. I can aid you if you wish, with three chance parts like power for parters. Of course, that means I boost their attack power, but also throw in a new move for free. So, which party would you like me to power up? Huh? You don't have enough shine sprites. Be gone! Come back with more! We'll have to find shine sprites in the world and come back later. Okay, now... This! So, do you see? So, I don't know if you can see it in the video, but there's actually two creases here against the wall. This is important for a puzzle later, and it's something that I got stuck on when I was a kid. Go up to it, and there we go. <laughs> I pulled another card trick today, making tons of lo tons of loot. But somebody started tailing me, so I came here to hide out for a while. Don't tell anyone who saw me here, or I'll bulk you! And there's this weird character, too. Hey, my name is Darkly. I like dim places, and now I'm done talking for now. Okay, he might be important later. Let's keep, uh... Let's keep an open eye out, huh? And look at this guy. He's blocking the path. Whoa, whoa, look now! You're an outsider! Past this point is a turn from Ishmael, head to the Robles. It's ten coins to pass through. You try to pass the ping, and I'm afraid I'll have to whoop you, but good. Fine, I'll pay. I'm not paying. I can take you. Uh, I would not recommend, recommend fighting him right now. I wait until after clearing chapter one. It's really simple. If you don't pay, don't pass. So, you can give him the 10 coins, but you'll have to do it every single time. You want to fight him, but not right now. We'll fight him later. And look who it is. There's the man himself. Oh, hi! There you are! Professor Frankly! What's up? Who's there? Who wants me? Ah, yes! You! Now you! Uh, I've seen your face before. Yes, that face. Wait for it. Just a moment. Don't tell me now. Silence! I'll get it right! Um, it's not Goombriel. Err, uh, it's not Elizagoom. Um, um. Aha! I've got it! You're a Goobella, aren't you? You were in my archaeology class last year, am I right? Wow, yes sir, that's me! I'm Goombella, Junior Yugu! Go Goombas! Of course I remember you. Not to toot my horn, but I'm pretty good at remember I'm pretty good at remembering. You, though, you stick out of my mind because you are such an exceptional student. And that guy behind you is... <laughs> huh? Mario! Professor, he's Mario! You know, the famous one? Oh, my apologies. I'm such a bookworm having a clue about what's hip right now. In any case, what sort of errand brings you to all the way to a place like this? 
We were hoping you'd tell us about the legendary treasure sent to people that wrote for it. I thought that if anyone knew anything about it, it you would, Professor Frankly. Of course I know about it! The reason I came here was to study that very subject. But why do you tax want to learn about the legendary treasure? You know that most say it's a little more than a fairy tale, don't you? Archaeologists and historians have to search for truth in those fairy tales, though. Me? I believe legendary treasure truly does exist, and I really want to find it. Good point, and well made. In that case, I'll cooperate with you however I can. First of all, about the treasure. There are many mysteries surrounding it. Some say it's an infinitely vast treasure ho treasure hoard, but others say it's a magical item. Some books say it's actually a monster, but still others claim it's an empty chest. So, so many different theories. Obviously, it's possible to divine the truth among them. But I'll agree at one point. To find the treasure, one must have the Crystal Stars. To find the treasure, you are to take the seven Crystal Stars to the Thousand Year Door. You mean the Crystal Stars and that old saying the super elderly people pass down? Indeed the same. As the saying goes, if you want to find the legendary treasure, you first must collect the seven Crystal Stars. Hold the magical map aloft before the entrance to the Thousand Year Door. Then the stars will light the way that leads to the stones of yesterday. Yeah! A lot of the lore I've read says that if this magical map is taken to the doorway, then it'll show you where to find the Crystal Stars! Correct! And the Thousand Year Door is supposedly here, deep beneath this town. Yet the critical piece of the puzzle of the magical map is lost. If only we had that map! But we do have it, Professor! Or, well, not we exactly. Mario has a magical map! What?! <laughs> really?! I'm not gonna try to read that, sorry. You... you actually have it? Could I just take a quick look at it if you don't mind? Astounding! This is it! The real thing! The one known the magical map! You, son, are my hero! You're great! Fantastic! Wonderful, even! With this, we can find the crystal source just by holding this aloft before a legendary door! Right on, Professor! Good golly, what are we doing just sitting here then? Kumbella! Mario! Off you must go this instant! Let's save the magical map to the legendary door! Alright, so Professor Franklin here is gonna come with us. Let's see here. I bet you didn't know this rhino thing came off, did you? <laughs> nice solution. <laughs> we can use this pipe to get down to the city streets. Come on, both of you! Let's get moving! Let's see here. Oh, wait, hang on a second. Mario, something just occurred to me. I'm fairly certain there are quite a few hoodlums below, so uh, keep your guard up. You two do know about your agile commands, don't you? Yeah, we know it. Really? A master, are you? Maybe you ought to practice at once just to be safe? Uh, we'll be fine. A boy, young lad, aren't you? Very well, then. Down we go. Just stand the pipe and tilt down to enter it. Great. Let's go down. Ooh, look at this place. Alright, so these are the rogue poor sores. The ruins of an ancient tower remain intact underground, and deep within them is the legendary thousand year door. Holding the magical map aloft before that door will lead to the crystal stars. Alright, let's go ahead and save the game. Let's see. Hey, hey man, what's up? Who's the hottie you got with you got there with you? Haha. <laughs> What's up, baby? Why don't you hang with us for a while? We play real nice. <laughs> man, what's a fine-looking Goomba doing with a tubby mustache man like that? Oh, it is like so sweet that you boys think I'm cute. Seriously. Yeah, guys like you make me feel like totally barfing. Now get out of our way. Ouch, that was cold. What, you too good for us? Come off it, sister. Nobody sings us like that. Nobody. Let's get him. Oh. Well, ain't this the terrible trio of, of the week, huh? Of the day, I guess. A Goomba, a Spiny Goomba, and a Paragoomba. My, the whole Goomba family tree! The only one I should warn you about is I fell in the middle, the Spiny Goomba. See the spike in his head? Well, jump at that, you're the one who'll take damage. The Paragoomba's airborne, so your hammer won't reach. You have to jump for him. Always take your opponent's situation into consideration when fighting. Always! Oh, that's right! I forgot to tell you something vital! You can press Y to change the order you two attack in. You can attack first if you feel like a Goombella. Don't forget that! 
Alright, press Y and switch. So, this game actually keeps track of all the enemies you come across in the game that you tattle. And I'm going to be getting all of them. So let's tattle the Goomba. Light up the small cursor with the center of the big cursor. It has an action command now and you can fail it. So, you'll see what I mean. Press A at the right time. Just like so. That's a Goomba. Um, yeah, I wanted those in case you hadn't noticed. Um, it says here Goombas are the underlings of underlings. That is totally rude. Their maximum HP is 2, they have an attack power 1 and a defense of 0. Alright, it's as basic as basic gets, you know? Alright, so jump on the Goomba. You know, classic Mario stuff. Okay, let's see here. The Spiny Goomba does 2 damage. Ugh, I actually failed to dodge that. Wow. Okay. So yeah, when your partner gets hit and Mario gets hit, it plays they play different sounds. So let's tell the spiky Goomba next. Alright, there we go. That's a spiky Goomba. A spiky headed Goomba. What a creative name. That spike is super pointy, so it's better to hit it with a hammer than jump on it. Maximum HP is 2, attack is 2, and defense is 0. The addition of the spike piece will hurt your feet if you jump on it. Duh! Alright. So let's hammer the spiky Goomba here. Nice! There we go, he's down. Wow, they get three star points, huh? Alright, so your so partners, enemies like the Goomba. Enemies that jump or are airborne, they can choose to attack either the character in the front or the back. They usually attack the character in the front, but they may go for the back as well. There we go. That's a parrot Goomba, basically a Goomba with wings. I'm jealous! Maximum HP is 2, attack is 1, defense is 0. You can't hammer it while it's flying, but rough it up and it'll totally plummet. Alright, so let's jump for the Paragoomba. There we go. So down it goes, and we got nine. Uh, we got 10 star points, wow. I guess the Paragoomba gives one more because he flies, I don't know. Owie! I don't think we'll be missing with anybody again anytime soon. Ha! Later on, losers! That felt awesome! Are you ready, Mario? There are plenty more where they came from, and they'll ha all have it in for us. When they attack, try to hammer them or jump with them while in the field. Attack successfully, you can perform for a strike when you enter battle. So if an enemy catches sight of you, be sure to thump him as you go into battle. Alright. So we have to... Jump with this platform. And go down the pipe. Alright, very nice. Let's see. So let's hammer this guy. And check this out. We'll be able to first strike with the action command. Oh, he has a badge! Wow. So, sometimes enemies can carry uh, items or badges. You cannot actually get them, get the item or badge for the enemies normally. There is a way we'll be able to, but it won't come for a very long time. Alright, so let's hammer the Paragoomba. Check this out. Bam! There we go, he's down. He went down with the wings. Normally that's something that didn't happen when we jumped on the last one. Alright, so when you pick up a heart in the field, it'll start one heart point to both Mario and his partner. But I think it's only for the active partner. Let me, uh, hold on a sec. Rough this guy up first, and then I'll get the item. Let's see. Bam! He's down. So wait, what? Hold on. Wait, the last Pokemon would give us three star points? What? Okay. I want to have this. A mushroom. Nice. A fire flower. Nice. So these are yellow balls. We can break them with our hammer. Alright. Okay, so we're going to come across it. Uh, I think we are. So that little creature will be important a little bit later. So watch out. Because enemies can first strike you as well. Just jump on him. There we go. Oh. This creature looks pretty weird, don't you think? What is this thing? This is a Spinia. Let's tattle it. There we go. That's a Spinia! A totally weird creature made of thin papery boards. It certainly looks unique. Nobody knows much about these creatures, actually. Max HP is 3, attack is 1, defense is 0. Its attacks are super swift, but it should be pretty easy. Just give it a hee-yah! Right, let's jump on him. 
There we go. Looks like I still got it, huh? <laughs> I may I may be out of practice. Hopefully not that out of practice. Oh god, okay. Hammer him. There we go. Oh, now there's two of them. Oh, now I'm frightened. There we go. Alright, let's see here. I'm gonna go ahead and jump with the one in the back. Uh, you can only hammer the enemy in the front. So, that's something to keep in mind. It's just, it deals, uh... It just deals a lot of damage at once. Let's see if I can do something here. Yes, got it! So that is something called a super guard. If you press the B button... When an, when an attack closes on you, you can actually negate the damage and deal one to the enemy. The super guard is a lot more difficult to time because of that, however. So, it's risk versus reward. Because if you miss a time, you take full damage. I can't believe I got that in one try. That's awesome. Let's see. So, what is this over here? A black key. A strange black key. But what could it be for? Alright. So the wallpaper is peeling there, but we can't do anything with it quite yet. So let's go to this room here. <clears throat> let's see here. Let's see. This is a black chest. Wonder what's inside it. Whoa! Hey, you! Can you hear me? You can! That was me. You're the hero of legend. Only the great hero of legend can hear my voice. Yeah, no one else? Nothing. See, long ago, an evil spirit cast a curse on me, locking me in this box. I was a bomb. I've been here ever since, waiting a long, long time for the hero to come by. So yeah, anyway, big guy, we're losing hero like you to a place like this. Er, uh, Mario, a word of you. I'm not exactly confident that we can trust this box. I think it may be best not to mention that we're looking for the crystal stars. Whoa, well, drat! I just said it out loud! What's wrong with me?! Oh yeah? Searching for the crystal stars, are you now? So you really are a hero! Well, you're definitely gonna need a help you can help get those bad boys. So first you should look for the key to this box. They used to let me out. Definitely! By the way, the key looks like this. Well, what do you think we ought to do, Mario? Well, I know my vote goes to you finding that key. I'm sure it's right here somewhere. Come on, be a second the boss is no picket. Kill you, oh great legendary hero. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You brought the key! Yes! Oh man, are you big? Here you go, pal. Yes! Big. Ha! Thank nothing! Woohoo! Flores! Oh boy, we've unleashed how. I burned you! What, you think that was gonna help you? Instead, I'm gonna spread a little suffering I've burned that stupid box! Yeah, sorry, but those are the breaks. I'm gonna cast an evil, terrible curse upon you! Woo! Your curse! Woo hee 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 hee! Enjoy that curse, sucker! You got what you deserve! You wanna hear all about the sweet curse just dropped? Then listen well! From now on, if you press Y in certain areas, you'll turn to a paper airplane. Wee hee! Shall we get? Suffer the rest of your days under my terrible curse! Wee hee 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 Oh, I can't help but chortle! You're dumb! This curse is pretty rough, I guess. I suppose it's over to you to explain. Ready? If you stand in an airplane pattern like this one, the forest will have to grow. Yeah, I'll kill you on the panel. I try to press the Y, and then BAM! You're a paper airplane! Just like so! The worst part of this curse is that you must tell it left to run to control yourself. I guess if you get got good, you might fall a long way, but that's the only good thing. So, be honest, isn't this curse just one of the worst things ever happened to you? <laughs> I zoned out! What was that? Yes, I get it. It's terrible. <laughs> if you press B, you might turn to normal. Me! Farewell, foolish friend! <laughs> so, uh, wow, just wow, what was that guy's beef? Interesting, some curse, huh? A helpful ability. I'm frightened. Okay, come on. Alright, go to the edge so you can find the furthest. And tilt it. 
Tilt it in the direction opposite that the point is at. And here we are. This is the realm of the Thousand Year Door. Oh! Mario! Kumpella! Look at that! It's the Thousand Year Door spoken of in the legends. I can't believe it's real! So the legends are all true. There it is, big as life. Come, let's move closer. Okay, sure. Let's go up to the pedestal here. Let's see here. Hey, what's he doing with this weird pedestal, huh? What could it be, you think? Let's stand on it. Let's see here. If I can actually get up there. <laughs> Professor, what's going on? I told you guys the map looked incomplete. It's physics itself, too. The location of a crystal star is recorded in your magical map. And Mario's learned a special move. You can now use Sweet Treat. Each time you get a crystal star, you'll learn a new special move. Professor, the map! And what was all those crazy lights? Hmm. It appears that information related to the locations of the crystal stars appeared. And that shining light, it looked as if a mysterious power was given to Mario. Well, one way or another, we should turn to my place and send to the map closely. Oh, yeah. Her. Aha! I see! Gives to this thing, we're going to be hearing it a lot. You understand it, Professor? My dear, of course I do! Firstly, about the light we saw shining on Mario. By my reckoning, Mario cannot perform what is known as a special move. A special move? Yes, it... Well, something this is better explained by example rather than words. Would you like to try it out? I'm gonna go ahead and go through with this. Excellent! In that case, we'll go outside since this place is a little cramped. The game will do a better job explaining it than I could. So yeah, things are looking a little bit different now. First, take a close look at your star power gauge. Look at that. We have a special move before chapter one in this game. You'll see you'll see that your gauge is one power dot. Obviously that's a single unit of power. So you're setting on a single dot of star power. With me so far? When you have star power available, you can use a special move. Try to use the sweet treat now. It's a special move that will replace your HP and FP. Alright, so check this out. So the special moves have action commands in this game as well. Let's see, source water is out as HP and FP and cures poison. Repeat the tail control stick left to shoot hearts and flowers. So there's going to be poison mushrooms as well. If you hit one of those, you'll be stunned for a little bit and can't move. So, this is what you want to do, see? Let's see. Let's see, there's a poison mushroom. Let's see. I actually almost got it perfect. I missed two of them. So that's how a special move works. As to how we recover it, well, since you use one power dot, the star power gauge is now empty. Take a look. Even if the gauge empties out, though, you can still charge it up again. That's why the audience watching your battles is so very important. You see, you see that? If you can get the audience excited, you'll build up more star power. Let me show you what I mean. Where are you, Kumbella? Try to attack me, please. So there's actually a little something that the game doesn't explain. It's something called stylish commands. So if you press the A button at certain points with each and every single attack, you can perform a stylish command. See, some are trickier to time than others, like Kumbella's head bonk here. Let's see. Let's see. I didn't get it, but trust me. So look at that. 
Nice! See that? You threw your audience to the photos of your gauge! Alright, so let's see if I can- The hammer is probably the easiest one for me to get. Let's do Mario's jump. Watch this. There we go. That's a stylish command. It fills up with star power even faster. Nice! Keep putting up the star power. Also, the more excited your battles are, the more people will come to watch you fight. As you can see, that's reflected the number of members in this audience. The number on the bottom left. See? Alright, let's try it again. There we go! Got it! There we go. Now Gumbella's head bomb. Mario! This is your chance to hit it big! So you see the top right there? Those are bingo symbols. Now the action command when you have two matching icons and icon wheels appear. Give it a try! So this first one will always give you three shine sprites. So when you get three shine sprites in particular, everything will be filled and your audience will grow to max. Your HP, FP, and star power are all full. Fantastic! You match three icons! When you match those icons, the crowd goes nuts and people swarm the theater. Plus, depending on the icons you match, match up, your HP, FP, and star power will fill up. But, if you get free poison motion, something terrible will happen, so be careful. Still with me? The more people in your audience, the more star power you can get. You can also use the appeal command against star power. I hope you memorize all this. Great Goomba's ghost! Mario, look at your audience! He's got a hammer. Does that guy have a hammer? He does, the bum! He needs to toss it at you! If the audience always hit you with anything, you'll take damage, obviously. You have to press X to stop them before they hit you. Like so. That's right! Sweet justice! You can press X to protect yourself with the objects the audience throws at you. Of course, fans of yours might toss good stuff like coins. Don't attack them! Well, that's all I've got. Here is with scintillating lecture of special moves. Let's go back inside. There we go. Let's have a look at that magical map and see what we can learn about the... Wow! Astounding! This map is rare like fortunes, and actually shows the location of a crystal star. It looks like the first crystal star is to be found in a place called the Petal Meadows. Petal Meadows? Yes! The area is a vast meadow that lies far to the east of Rokeport. To tell you the truth, I've always thought that place was a tad suspicious. The name Petal Meadows did come up for time time in my research. Okay, fine. So we'll go there. Does everybody know how to get there or what? I'm fairly certain that somewhere beneath the city is a pipe to Petal Meadows. If you could just find that, you'd get there instantly. Pipe travel is efficient. Say, by the way, Mario, I'm curious. Where'd you get that map anyway? From Princess Peach? Really? Her Highness sent this to you, Mario? This Princess Peach? This wouldn't be her, would it? So it is her! Your princess came to see me the other day. She wanted to learn about the treasure. I told her about the crystal stars and was suspicious about Petal Meadows. It doesn't seem likely, but perhaps she tried to go to the Petal Meadows on her own. Peach can't jump! How? You know, Professor, there was another suspicious group asking about the same thing. Hmm. But I can't imagine Princess Peach getting involved with them. Alright, it's settled. Off to Petal Meadows, you two go. If Princess Peach would deal with her, your first priority must be to catch up to her. Collecting the crystal stars is a means to an end. And that end is Princess Peach. Aren't you coming, Professor? No, I'll stay in town and ask around about Princess Peach and that suspicious gang. Besides, I thought a short little goober like me could handle the trials on the road. Of course, if anything happens and you need some advice, come see me, okay? You got it, Professor. Well, Mario, we're off. Right, let's go. Wait just a moment! You got Power Smash. Hammer a single enemy using lots of attack power. Mario, it's scary out there. Take this with you. It's called a badge and it's incredibly helpful. You see, depending on the badges you have equipped, you'll get much more powerful. What's important is knowing what the effects will be when you first equip a badge. Would you like to practice equipping and removing badges? I'm good. Are you absolutely sure? This is the last time I'll ask. Do you want to practice? Oh, we'll be fine. By the way, you need fire points, FP, to use the power smash move. In battle, you should watch not only your HP, but FP too. Did you get all that? Well, here's hoping you'll find that pipe to Petal Meadows. So to equip badges, go to the badge screen. And it'll tell you what BP you need. We start with three and press A on it. Where this use power smash. Two of B required uses attack, which lets you break an enemy with great power. 
So check this out here. Wearing two or more of these badges requires more food for the move, but increases the attack power. This game has a far better badge system than the original did, in that you can actually purchase multiple copies of the same badge, and you can increase the attack power at the cost of increasing the FP. The FP required. Nice. Now, I believe the prerequisite to this shop up here, the opening, is going to the Thousand Year Door for the first time. Ah, that's the last thing that I'd like to show off. I bump my head against the wall. That's the last thing I want to show off if I can before I end the video. I go for an hour, wow. So look at this guy. Oh, look at these fine folks. Let's see. So we have a couple uh, couple badges here. Let's see, piercing blow, deliberate damage that pierces enemy defenses. Super appeal, get more star power when Mario appeals. Power jump, stop on a single enemy using lots of attack power. It's basically the jump equivalent to power smash. Last stand P, last stand partner is what I call it. Drop the damage your ally takes by halfway in danger. It's useful for danger strats. FP Drain. Drop Mario's attack power by 1 per regain 1 P for attack. Let's see here. Welcome, welcome. Feel free to look around. That's the badge manager, the lovely house of badges. For a manager, she sure has gone for the store a lot. Where do you think she goes? The shop's small, but it's totally adorable. She really knows how to decorate. Oh, hold on. Uh, I wanted to tell this guy. That's the badge clerk that works part-time here at the lovely house of badges. It sounds like he really wants to open his own badge shop someday. Yeah, I think he's using this his, this job to learn the business. Talk about motivation. A big welcome to you. Welcome to the lovely house of badges. Welcome. So, what can I do for you? I'm buying. You can sell badges in this game, too. There are only a certain number of badges you can hold at once. This is where you can go to sell them off. I'm buying. What kind of badges interest you? Special deals are those on the counter? Others. Let's see, last step, drop damage Mario receives by half when he is in danger. Happy Flower, slowly and automatically restore FP during battle. Simple Flower, make action combats easy but earn less star power. Unsimple Flower, make action combats hard but earn more star power. Come again! Alright. So I'll put if I come to power jump, you get one BP to use this badge, is that okay? Yes! So I'm gonna buy power jump and I'm gonna equip it, see? Alright, so we're going to use Power Jump. Same description for Power Smash, but obviously for the jump. So now we can use these moves in battle. Use Fire Points. Keep that in mind. Oh, and with that, this is definitely a good place to stop. It's the beginning of the game, so I wanted to go for an extra long time this time, alright? So next time on Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, let's see what we can do about finding the, the pipe that goes to Petal Meadows, huh? See you then!